Hello namaste anya se hola priviet I wasn't sure about sharing today's video because it didn't go as planned but it turned out so pretty and I worked really hard on it so I'm sharing it with you Grab two sturdy pieces of paper and stick them together using glue wait for them to dry and then cut away any parts you don't need If you don't have paper on hand Using an ice cream stick is a great alternative for creating a fan. Next use black paint to cover both sides of the paper and make sure to let it dry thoroughly. Now take a narrow tape and apply it to both sides of the paper. Remember to align the tape properly with the paper to prevent the paint from sticking to it. If the tape isn't aligned correctly, you might uh, need to reapply the paint. Use a pair of scissors to carefully cut out the paper with the tape. Be mindful while cutting to avoid tearing the edges of the paper. Repeat these steps to create a total of 9 paper sticks in this manner. Now take one of these sticks and use a needle, compass or any pointed tool to create a hole as demonstrated. By the way, I made a mistake earlier. and you should actually use 7 sticks instead of 9 i will explain why in a bit following the same method make holes in the remaining sticks or you can group them together and make a hole with a needle next take a wire or an eye pin and insert it into the hole you created earlier in that stick then use a cutter and pliers to trim away excess wire or eye pin and secure it in place I can't seem to find my pliers right now so I am both trimming and securing the eye pin with a cutter. It's a common occurrence for me. When I desperately search for something, it's uh, nowhere to be found. But as soon as I don't need it, I stumble upon it. Let's see when my pliers decide to make an appearance. So this is how the sticks will look after combining them. Start with an A4 size paper, secure it with tape and find its middle point. Position a ruler beneath the paper and using the paper's middle point, use a compass to create a half circle just like in the video. Then using that same middle point on the ruler, draw another larger circle. This will serve as your paper for making the fan. Now you can draw any picture and color it. This is what I have sketched and now use a paper knife to trim away the unnecessary parts. So this is the expected appearance and now grab another plain A4 size paper. Place the color paper on it, trace the shape and carefully cut it out with scissors. So you will get these types of paper. Now turn the color paper over and place the sticks on it. Begin by checking their positions. I recommend securing the placement of the bottom sticks on both sides with glue first. Then carefully space out the other sticks and mark their positions with a pencil. This way if they shift, you won't lose their placement. After that, go ahead and glue down all the remaining sticks. Since the top part of the sticks is covered with tape to ensure they stick firmly to the paper just press them down or place something heavy on them for a while this will help the glue bond securely now trim away all the excess parts that have popped out of the paper using scissors i believe i may have made a mistake with the paper here i will conduct some more experiments and update you on what went wrong on my community post or on source video now it's the moment to attach the plain paper on the other side of the colored paper to conceal the sticks however if you prefer you can choose to skip this step i recommend uh, doing this because it enhances the fan's appearance if you have a uh, lightweight plain paper it's ideal for keeping the fan light but uh, it's entirely up to you if you don't have lightweight paper regular paper will work too now fold the paper with the stick part on top of each other here's where i made a mistake if i had used seven sticks it would have folded neatly and all aligned in a straight line however with nine sticks it's a bit hard to fold smoothly but i have to admit it still makes a good fan that provides a nice bridge so that's it for today's video thanks for watching